Yeah, I, I think uh, it certainly doesn't make sense for every business to uh, to raise private equity funding, um, especially right off the bat. If you can bootstrap, um, that's excellent. Uh, if you can contract on the side and uh, spend some savings and you know rack up credit card debt, um, that's that's also pretty good. And I, I've, we've done all of those things at Jobber. We didn't raise money. Um, our, well, I guess we we took some friends and family money, which is uh, great if you're in a position to do it. Um, uh, probably about a year or so after we started working on uh, on Jobber, and then it was about six or seven months later uh, that that we raised our first round of, of funding. Um, and I, I think an important point to make as well is that if you, as the entrepreneur, don't have uh, some skin in the game, you're gonna find it hard for to, to get investors to take you too seriously. Um, so definitely, I mean, I, I think it depends. Like if you if you're a, you know a consumer based company and you, you kind of hit your stride really early um, and you start generating enough revenue to pay the bills, um, you know, keep doing that until um, until you know such a time that you you need that capital infusion in order to really take things to the next level. Um, by the same token, don't wait too long either. Like you need to move fast because there's other people out there doing the same thing that you are like don't think your idea is unique don't think it's it's awesome and it's gonna it's just gonna like take off on its own merits because there are other people out there that you're competing with doing it and uh, you need to move fast so um, yeah I, I mean it does make sense for every business and um, you know I mentioned non-dilutive uh, funding options earlier there's there's lots of that out there uh, and that's a that's a great way to uh, to, to help fund things um, through sort of like you know the friends and family and beyond what, uh, is level. That, what does that mean, non-dilutive? Non-dilutive uh, financing is, uh, is, is funding uh, typically backed by government um, that uh, doesn't involve taking an equity stake in your company. So um, they're... You know they're, they're they're set up in lots of different ways. Some of them are, are set up in sort of like a, you know a post revenue payback, where after you're actually making money, um, you, you you pay it back. Some of it is just a straight up gift. Um, it's all highly controlled. If you are going to take uh, non dilutive funding, there's there's typically a, like a reporting framework that you need to operate within, so that you're so that you know the organization that gave you the money can make sure you're not flying to Las Vegas. <laughs>